The city of Fresno is now considering stricter laws on where people experiencing homelessness can sit or lie down on sidewalks. A new proposed ordinance says that those blocking the sidewalk near sensitive areas such as schools or public parks can actually impede passage for those with disabilities. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lessius tells us why one council member is saying that bill isn't going to solve anything with the homeless crisis. Sophia? Yeah, Liz and Monty, Fresno City Council first voted on this ordinance last Thursday, six to one in favor of the bill. Only one council member voted against the bill. She is not offering a, she says that this bill actually is not offering a solution and instead moves people somewhere else. It's not actually going to solve a problem. It's just going to move unhoused individuals to different parts of the city. The ordinance introduced by Fresno City Council members Gary Redfield and Miguel Arias prohibits people from blocking public right away, including sidewalks and streets in so-called sensitive areas. This includes schools, child care facilities, public parks, public libraries, city warming centers, city cooling centers, and city permitted shelters. The two argue this bill will make sure the Americans with Disabilities Act is being followed by not blocking pedestrian routes within 500 feet of those sensitive areas. Every member on Fresno City Council voted in favor of the ordinance, except Annalisa Freya, who represents District 1, mainly Fresno's Tower District. I feel like this ordinance will be hurting my district the most out of any other district. Um, my district does have the, the railroads, the freeways, the canal banks, and so what this is going to do is unwind a lot of the progress we've made by cleaning up those areas and getting those people housed. Many advocates fear this is going to criminalize people experiencing homelessness and potentially push people out of the city. Bredefield says it's more about safety. We should be proud of having a city where people can traverse without worrying about uh, having uh, negative encounters or walking over needles or walking over people or having to walk out into the street. We are doing everything we can to possibly help individuals, but we must also at the same time create some very clear boundaries that kids have a right to go to their school, their neighborhood library, their neighborhood park without any physical obstruction. But Perea insists if the ordinance is passed, it's not actually offering a solution. And it's going to push them back into the canal banks, um, the freeways, the railroad tracks. And so again, this is not actually going to solve anything. It's just going to move a problem from one part of our city to another part of our city. Perea says Fresno City Council has already had advocates for the unhoused say that they might bring a lawsuit into this if this ordinance is passed. This Thursday, Fresno City Council will vote again on this ordinance. All right, thanks so much, Sophia. Now, while there are no fines or penalties in that ordinance, though, police can enforce the rule.